Well, we've spoken with residents and businesses about the 4th and 5th Street pilot project, and now our reporter, Jerry and Alex, had a chance to speak to city officials about the criticisms that the project has been facing. The 4th and 5th Street project has been three years in the making. City officials actively sought and worked with the community to implement changes. You can post a speed limit, but that doesn't necessarily mean anybody's going to follow it. Changing the look and feel of 4th and 5th Street has been controversial. You may have seen posts on community boards expressing how dangerous the recent changes are. We asked Abe Herman, the mayor of Grand Junction, to respond to those criticisms. Change is hard in any community, especially when you've been used to something being away for a long time. But um, I would emphasize that you know the, the current state of it is just a pilot project. The plastic poles are temporary. One point Mayor Herman stressed was reducing speed. Another point of contention for residents was parking meters. In some areas, the meters are nowhere near the parking spaces. Once the design's finalized, all that would turn into curbing, into sidewalk. So then the things like parking meters would be closer to the cars. And he tells us the data so far doesn't support the idea that the new changes have made the intersections more dangerous. Their current traffic data and projections show that both streets have no reason to expand past a one-lane street. Their average daily trips are about 5,000 trips a day. We project that out 20 years to the year 2045, and the estimated traffic counts are about 8,500 trips a day. The threshold at which you would consider turning a street into a two-lane street, as it had been before, is 20,000 trips a day. Both 4th and 5th Street have been through numerous changes and will continue to do so as the city receives feedback on the project. In Grand Junction, I'm J. Ron Alex supporting. And the city of Grand Junction is actively looking for your feedback on the 4th and 5th Street pilot project. We value your concerns and your input, and to make your voice heard, you can visit engagegj.org.